How's it going guys? Today we are going to take off in the FDRX7, the Montego one, and go to the Dragon, Dills Gap, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it's Sunday, so I think we missed all of like the Rotary Rally, the, was it DGRR? But, like I said, I want to go every year, I never can, whether it's like work or something, something always happens. So I figured why not, we'll just jump in the car, ride up there, it's like a three hour drive, so... Just ride out there, hang out, and see if there's any stragglers, people hanging, you know, still hanging it around the area and stuff like that. See if we can see some cool RX-7s, so. Yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video, so stick around. it up here like i said i'm just going to cruise I'm not here to show out or do anything stupid just cruise <laughs>
real quick it's actually the day after the trip the rx7 made it back with no issues thankfully um i never did fix the power steering problem i had last time i went up there um it's just straight off the rack right back into the reservoir so the fluid heats up and the pump starts whining but i will fix that <laughs> i promise but like i said the belt starts squeaking too but that's no big deal yeah i'm just glad it made it back in one piece but yeah i didn't do much uh talking like i said um, i still kind of get nervous talking on camera in front of people but you know it is what it is <laughs> but for the people who haven't seen the car up close yet i figured i'd go ahead and show you guys the inside of it yeah it's nothing special like i said i mean it's just pretty much the way it, it was when i bought it i just cleaned it up and you know put an ls in it <laughs> i did try the rotary thing for the ones that uh that haven't seen the other videos thought that was funny i hate we didn't make it uh down there in time for a lot of the rotary community to see that but yeah she's nothing special just a stock ls1 but it runs good that that's what i mainly care about <laughs> but I've, I've had a cam for this thing for probably god i don't know like over a year now for a minute since this engine and transmission was in the white car i've had a cam for this engine <laughs> i don't know i just i think this thing was averaging like over it had to be like 21 22 maybe even more i don't know i need to find out for sure but like i use hardly any gas on the trip up there so i don't want to you know keep it simple stupid that type of thing i don't want to throw a cam in it and then it just like suck to drive it i don't know maybe i'm just being lame i don't know <laughs> but yeah we'll see i might throw the cam in it later on but yeah that's pretty much it like i didn't talk much i just um i don't know like i still kind of get nervous around people when i'm talking on camera but yeah, had a lot of fun. And uh, make sure you stick around because taking the Corvette hopefully next weekend or the weekend after next. One of these weekends, very soon. But yeah, make sure you stick around for all the other car content. Like I said, we got the 350Z we're putting together, uh, the two 300Zs, the two FDs, uh, the Corvette, of course. And I'm hoping to get the 350Z all painted and put together. To, you know, basically get that shell painted and start tearing the. Uh, crashed hr car part and switching all the parts over to this chassis so i can have a car i can go drift in again yeah so but yeah i might, might need to raise the car a little bit too because i was having some pretty pretty bad rubbing issues which i did last time i went so i don't know really would love to get this car painted this year that's the c5 squeak might take it this weekend but anyway guys that's enough of me rambling like i said i just wanted to talk you know talk to you guys for a little bit because like i said it's just basically you know bad driving footage <laughs> all right guys we'll see you on the next one